To install GenyMotion on Arch Linux, go to www.archlinux.org. And on the web page, click on the AUR. In the package search, type GenyMotion and press Enter. Click the package link that says GenyMotion and open up a terminal window. On your home directory, create a build folder and change into that directory. Back on the web page under Package Actions, right click on the download snapshot and select Couple Link Location. Now in your terminal, type wget and then paste the link copied and then press enter. This will download the package build. When it's done, extract the package contents with tar xvf, then the package name genymotion.tar.gz. CD into the package build directory genymotion and, and type make peak tag SRI. It will ask you if you want to proceed with the installation. Just type Y and enter. Downloading and installing the package can take a while to finish. So I'll get back to you when it's done. Now it will ask you again if you would like to proceed with the installation. Just type Y again and then enter. After it's finished installing, there is a message saying make sure to have a list of modules loaded. These modules are required to run GenyMotion. Now we can load them one at a time, but we can also load them all at once with the command sudo vbox reload. The next step is to create an account on GenyMotion if you don't have one yet. Signing up is free. Just go to www.genymotion.com to sign up for a new account and fill in the required information. When you're finished signing up, go to your apps and open GenyMotion. Now click on the settings and then click on the sign in button. Sign in using your username and password. You can now click on the Add menu to create a new virtual device. You can select the type of virtual device that you would like to create. In this video, I'm just going to create a custom phone. Make your selection by clicking on the next button. It may take a little while to download the virtual device. So again, we have to wait. Now click on the finish button when it's done. And we're ready to start our emulator. To launch our emulator, just click on the start button. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.